Hello, gamblers and grifters. My name is TV Sky, and you join me uh, in the gold saucer? Something seems to be going on. Uh, signs and moogles and things are happening, and I don't know what they are. I think it's some kind of event? Casino? Usually gold saucer is like gambling and stuff, right? So, so that's going on. Uh, guess, guess, guess we'll, guess we'll, guess we'll figure, figure out what that is. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I have this thing popped up on my screen for whatever reason, uh, with recommendations, which I suppose it's, it's nice to have recommendations. Not that I need them right now, because I kind of know what I need to do. Um, but for the moment, let me just check around and see. There's no Marauder's Guild quest right now. There's Culinarian Faint and Strike, and then there's something at the left of and there's Maelstrom, don't know what the heck that is. Probably some kind of hunting guild, I don't know. And outside of that, not really much to do in Limsa Lamensa, is there? Like they besides take on more classes, I suppose. Can't you become a fisherman? Hmm. I would think so. Keep People keep talking about the fishing in this game and how they've spent like a hundred million hours on it. So, you know, I think so. Uh, seriously, what is this though? How do I... Do you happen to know? Do you love MGP? Then you best get yourself over to the Gold Saucer and make the most of the 50% bonus rewards on offer during this season's limited time event. Did I mention it's only for a limited time? I... Uh, uh, go... Okay. I... Uh, gold Saucer go to place? How? How to Saucer go gold? Do please? Yes? Okay. God, that's a song. Like, when you play this much Final Fantasy VII I, as I have, you get tired of that song. You get tired of that song. My goodness gracious God. Do you get tired of that song? Uh, Batteron, give me a quest. No, not you, Toxic Clouds. Good to have you aboard, lad. Now then, where to start? Back when I was younger and nastier, I earned my living as a sellsword. In that business, if you wanted to know what your enemy was up to, you had to learn to read the orders you prized from his cold, dead, the cold, dead hands of his mates. That's how I came to know how to read your message. Truth be told, lad, the script is only too bloody familiar. Them sagging letters, lad. And I should have known. I've got it more fishback messengers than I can count. It gets worse, though. The plan to blow up the victory was all here, down to the fine details. Looks like they meant to raise eight kinds of hell in the western Lanosia, then eat the Maelstrom's new flagship in all the confusion. The point being, the attack on the victory weren't the act of a few rebellious pirates. Twas the key part of some canny bastard's grand plan. But if I'm reading this right, the attack itself came much too early. I'll wager they panicked when they saw you was on to them, rushed in to do the job, and buggered it up. Ah, uh, them tattoo-faced bastards, as they, they were saying, as they was paying up the berm's old man. They're the, with the serpent reapers, right? But none of their crew was there, was they? Did they have something better to do, or what? I don't know, I'm just gonna stare at you silently until you figure it out, yeah. Seven L's, I've got it all bloody backwards. That mess of the victory, that was meant to be the bloody distraction. The fishbacks ain't interested in the Maelstrom's baby, they're after men, just like they've always been. They're sending their lack pilot lackeys after a civilian target. This bit about them raising a little worse than a nausea, that's what it'll be. Someone tells me Switch Perch is about to get it, an odd. He's a rough translation of the message. Take it Commodore Reina at the Coral Tower and tell him he's in for a busy day. Oh, and give him an hand, eh? You can be damn sure he'll need one. Okay. Let's go kick some fish in the ass. Hooray! Uh, ah, uh, there you are. Hello, Mr. Captain Man. Yes, I'm Raina. Uh, you must be at the adventure. His name seems to be on everyone's lips. You ought to be commended for your part in thwarting the plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? You better urge an imagine from Batteron. 
Uh, why do I get the feelings my hopes for a quiet morning are about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is afoot? An assault on Switch first? But we've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reavers are massing for an attack. Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Bad or honest are really wrong about such matters. I will marshal the yellow jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Badrin's assessment that the attack on the dry docks was intended as a diversion, Swift purchased but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir! Report? It's the Sagan, sir. They've mounted a large-scale assault on South Tidegate and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. Bad the navigator. Seems my decision has been made for me. Master the troops and give the order to march. Aye, the Serpent's Reavers are in league with the Sargon. Which means there's every chance the assault on Tidegate may prove yet another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it, and that leaves Swift Purge vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is a time such as these that I wish the Warriors of Light yet walked among us, but wishes, wishes will avail us not. Ulfam, you must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste, and lend your strength to the squads I can spare for the settlement's defense. Okay. To Swift Perch. Where is Swift Perch relative to Aleport? Well, that's all very close by. Cool. Let's go. Really want a chocobo mount. Okay. Hello, you're all about to be murdered. Who do I talk to about that? There you are. Hi, murder's coming. Come on, Arena sent word we'd be getting reinforcement, but I didn't expect him to send you. Uh, you certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear a little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I met fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you're fighting for here? This place, Swift Perch, it was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the calamity threw their way. And we're not about to let some fish-fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones that finally broke their spirit. Don't give those pirate bastards one bloody elm, you hear me? Here they come! Oh, that's a lady. <laughs> ah, look at those losers! <laughs> what, you think that mask makes you anonymous? Eh, uh, no, I thought you were them yellow jack of worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't followed the plan, is she? No, what? Uh, pull back and wait for a sogging, boys? Piss on that, why ain't turning back empty ended? Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood with Stange Lord Devithin's altars. Uh, yellow bellies can butcher you at will, them dirt eating slugs will be crushed under the full might of the serpent reapers. Seems Swift Perch was the main target after all, huh? Squads 1 and 2, protect the town folks. Squad 3, you're our rear guard. The rest of you, we will meet their charge where we stand. Let us bear the Commodore word of our victory or no word at all. Valenza Lamenza! I'll gut you, yellow bellows, and dance on your gizzards! Dun, da, 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 da. Hello. Can I please attack? Thank you. Oh, I need to turn my defiance on. Me, you dickheads, come at me. Okay, can't talk at those. Oh, Jesus. Big beastie. Uh, can I get that out of here? That's kind of right over top of my goddamn potions. Or, uh, my sidebar. I'd rather it wasn't. Let's 
get your dumb ass out of the way. And you, you seem to be a healer of some kind. Stop doing that. Down you go. Well fought. The Reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some of the men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them looking about, so don't let your guard down just yet. Okay, really need that stuff to not be right over my sidebar. Oh, hey, it's him with this stupid looking mask. The source of his strength becomes clear. I should whisper more with him. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Ooh, spooky. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. Ooh, another one of those. He looks angry. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. How about I kick you in the face, then? Anytime. Yeah, hi. Nope. That didn't work. But I am pretty well invulnerable to them, so it's fine. I need to figure out... Oh, someone told me that there was a thing about, like, the whatever the symbol appeared next to them determined whether you can interject the thing or not. Albeit, I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, hey, Ishtola's here. Down, buddy. And your stupid friend, too. <laughs> that the wisdom of the paragons should be brought low. By mere mortals. Your mass. Paragons, did you say? Then it is as I feared. They're known as bringers of chaos, or Asians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they who have been manipulating the beast tribes. Pardon? You would know if we Charlians have encountered Askans before. Asians? I've never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know that's once I held? Wait. I do begin to see. You've been blessed with a special gift. Little late there. Are you alright, lad? 
If I'd known a mean bugger was le like that was hiding in the bushes, it would have left a squad of six to keep you company. Well, at least now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those reavers were the ones spiriting folks away in the dead of night. And this bastard here was pulling all the strings. How the hell do you know that? A trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. And yet we prevailed. And thanks to your heroic actions, I've learned much. Aye, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't been her friend. Uh, no, not auto advance, but uh, I want to... Is there not, can I not, is there not a, a button I can press to advance things? Yeah. And your assistant is much appreciated too, Lady Ashtola. Please give our regard to the Scions. I'm glad to have played a role in bringing what I hope is an end to this disturbing spate of abductions. Abductions, rather. The threat of your fate forms part of a most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap we will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray, send my greetings to Com Commodore Rayner. I need to go to Aleport first, though. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to pick up. Let's touch it. What could go wrong? Oh, okay. Well, that solved itself. I would have hit it with my axe, personally, but uh, okay. Right. Uh, oh, port is in middle of Nusha, right? Is that a flying chocobo? Oh, I want that. Someone did say in comments that every mount gets a flying mode. At, as a, at a certain level, you, be, you become able to fly, so... So I'm looking forward to that. Flying chocobo. Yeah. Must go attune with the crystal. Actually, that's a smart thing. Also, talk to the chocobo keep. I'm good. Uh, crystal. There, that's the crystal. That's not the crystal. That's just a statue. Why did I think that was a crystal? Yoink. Okay, where is the person I'm looking for here? You're somewhere around here. Brutal strength lives. There you are. Uh, okay. I mean, it's a plus thing, so I guess I should do that. You need to work, lad. I'm a Orman. I'm a representative of the Adventurers Guild. Notice the hat. It is a very nice hat. I keep a regular work task locus need to and then dole it out to adventures look cable all. Now you'll look capable, but the last thought I reckon was tough enough to got his face bit off by a bleeding wharf rat. You just proved to me you can handle the jobs. Take a look at this here Taz. Does this seem like somewhat you could do? Uh Report to List Western Lanasha? Okay. Alright then, you need to beckon to your client, Memeron. <laughs> Memeroon? He's a meme rune <laughs> to help him lead to his destination. Use the beckon amount to lead your client safely to the destination. Oh my god. How do I add an emote to my hotbar? There. Right. Beckon, huh? And then brutal strength is in. Haha, -ha, there you are, Rainfred. Any worse since you boys, are you? Why, I've known that Sprat since he was knee hard to a. Uh, well, he's always uh, kind of a big fella. Worse worms, and now they call him Axe Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble. 
All you need to do then is take yourself up west northwest up toward Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The mean bugger you're after, his name is Potrapontum, by the way, will come running across the weighted plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, you see. So you better have your cleaver, that cleaver of yours ready. Oshun's blessings be upon you. Okay. So whistle would be an emote as well, I suppose. Uh, so that's tail and toe. That's the guy we need to drag around. Does he, perchance, want to go to Western Lanosha? Sharknado? Oh my lord. That seems a little over level for me. Uh, right. Where am I going? There. Okay. Let's go do that first before we beckon to the guy. Running, 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 Ooh, that's a cool monster. Can I kill that monster? That's a cool monster. Ooh. Oh, I might not have an option except to kill it. Hello. Oh, look at you, Axe Beat. You look cool. Look at that. Like, that's a monster hunter monster right there. That's that's really cool. Look at those colors, too. Gorgeous. Pity I have to kill you. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, guess I have to kill you, too. Oh, hey, there he is. Ooh, it's a coral! Well, that was... That, 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 that was easier than I thought. I am, although a little over-leveled, so maybe it's not surprising. I figured it would be more of a mini-boss. That reminds me, do any monsters in this game have, like, instant death effects? Like, imagine eventually they must, like, in raids and stuff. But, like, are there, like, corals that could just petrify you and kill you? Like, as regular-ass monsters, that where you really have to be ready to in interrupt them or else you're dead? Okay, so that's, uh... Okay, that's the Axe Master to report to. Cool. Now... I need to find... Who do I need to find? Nimaroon. Oh. Oh, right. It's a lev. It's a... You have to, you have to initiate it. You have to initiate the... You have to go to the place and initiate... That's how the levs work. It's because it's a lev. It's a stupid lev. Hello. Where are we going? This way. Oh, what a cutie. Look at you. That's an adorable character design. Oh my god. Precious creature. Are you going to be a problem? You're going to be a problem. Fair enough. Come on, little buddy. Okay, you go over there. And I go kick this guy in the face. Shut up. Bonk. Got rid of you. Come on, buddy. Mimaron is safe. Sparklies are safe. Should Mimaron share Sparklies? Complete the task give you or will you know to collect your reward. We Yeah, I've, uh, I don't care that much about the rest of your levs. I'm fine. Pretty much only took that on because someone said it was a good idea to do that. I am nothing if not influenceable. Well, time to go to the Coral Tower? Okay, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, take me back to Limbs of Limits. I want to ride a Chocobo. I guess porters are like the cheaper option than actually just than actually teleporting because like it costs like way less skill. I guess that's their function, and I guess it also lets you get to places where you don't have like a direct teleport etherite crystal. Makes sense. Oh, look at this adorable little hat! Oh, chocobos with tiny hats, chocobos with big hats, chocobos with all kinds of hats. Oh, this game is good. Sweet. That was cute. Man, there's so many cool costumes. People are like, oh my god, look at that white-haired cat boy. That's a sexy outfit. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this edgy-ass sword. Look how edgy that shit is. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Level 80. Yeah, you better be with a sword like that. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, Ethernet. Uh, Marauder's Guild. Give me my quest for the class once I've reported this into Mr. Captain Guy here. Ultham, eagerly have I awaited your return. Word of your exploits is already spreading through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great debt of gratitude for your timely assistance. Well, you have shown yourself to be possessed of a sure arm, a strong spirit, and sound judgment. Would that Limsilobians had more of your like. I have little doubt that you should one day join the ranks of the Orsia's greatest adventurers. It is but a matter of time. Clearly, Padron's eyes for such potential remain sharp as ever, although I doubt even he imagined you capable of such feats. Might you favor, you favor me with your own accounts of today's events? Such victories bear retelling. And then I said, screw you, buddy, and I kicked him in the nuts. Ishola has been working with us for quite some time. Oh my god, look at the little guy! Look at that little tiny guy! Look at his little tiny axe! It's so little! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Oh my god! He could probably kick my ass, but he's so adorable! Look at him! Uh, anyway, Ishola has been working with us for quite some time, you see. And she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping investigation, proving herself a stalwart ally of Limsa Laminsa yet, yet again. Needless to say, after your pardon thwarting the attempted sabotage of the victory and the small matter of your deeds at Swift Perch, you two have proven yourself a valued friend of the Thalassocracy. Admiral! Ooh. Ooh, here come some fancy people. Do I salute, or... Uh... Hello, ma'am. <clears throat> Madam. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Brick. May I present to you Admiral... Oh, my God. Bluffishvin. Please don't make me pronounce that more than once. So... This is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field reports. Yes, hello, that's me. Hi, 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 I'm Brick. Brick, that's me. I am Melve Blufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. Blufisvin, okay, I was kind of close. Hi, 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 hello, hi. God, okay, hi. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. A token of our gratitude. What worth is high regard without just reward after all? <laughs> Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have
have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahagin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> A seat at the feast! Oh, and don't be late. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Well, I mean, you know, anytime you want to take, uh, take measure of me, uh, yeah, just, uh, just let me know. Yeah, I'm down to be measured anytime. Oh god, more quests from him. Okay, fair enough. Let's give me his Marauder quest first. I have been in contact with Rainfred, and he had naught but praise for you, Brick. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There's one more task I would have you complete this day. A task that will demonstrate for you just how strong you've become. Report to- oh my god. Scarfgrim, where he waits on the ba banks of the Ageless River, and he- shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Okay. Uh, banquet. Yes, banquet. Yes. A yes, banquet. Uh, I'm not sure you understand just how unusual it is for the Admiral to invite an adventurer to the state banquet. It's a highly coveted honor. Why, even the officers under her direct command are really afford such recognition. <laughs> but, but I will not deny that you have earned it. Many of the tasks you have performed in service to the Thalassocracy have been both difficult and dangerous. This is a reward for all your efforts, and all to your many achievements, both large and small. I, I sure hope I get a chance to show her my, 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 my achievements. <clears throat> Has the enormity of this moment yet to sink in? Perhaps perchance you will realize the significance when you stand before the assembled dignitaries of Limsa Lamensa. Uh, now that I have imagined the scene... I realize you'll need more suitable attire for the occasion. I suggest to visit the wench and see what Batteron can arrange. He's surprisingly knowledgeable about such things. Batteron! I need an outfit to make the lady like me! Well, well, if it isn't Melwiv's guest of honor, obnobbing with the Iron Mighty now, is it? I'll tell you, lad, a damn near snort a day locked me nose when I heard the news. You've kind of bloody long way you have, and that's the truth. Well, one thing's for sure you'll not want for decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding Bismarck, no less. Tis a grand chance to fill your belly to burst in with fine, and more importantly, free food. But we can't have you turning up in your shite cake venture in gear. No, the era of the hour needs to have a touch of refinement about him. If only to stop folks complaining when he stuffs his face with cake. Take yourself over to the Octon and speak to the Janashim, or the Bruguer Consortium. She'll furnish you with some th some gentlemanly to wear. I've already had a word with her, so all you need to do is pick up the goods and then bring him back here so I, I can tell you what's what. Yes, yes, good. Good, 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 good. Um, Octant. Octant is that way. Hello. Good evening, sir. I assume you're the underdressed uh, gentleman Badron mentioned. I see he was not exaggerating. <laughs> I have chosen these especially for your debut in Polite Society. Fear not, I'm certain you will absolutely adore them. Okay. Been to see Janashim, have ye? Let's have that box, then. Here we go. A nice pair of dress shoes, Feria. A bloke mightn't have much else to his name, but as long as he's got a decent pair of shoes on his feet, they ain't nowhere he can't go. Think of them as a gift from me and all the other folk you've done right by along the way. Aye, tis a very, very moving gesture, I know. Just don't go welling up on me, eh? Wouldn't do for limbs as new hero to turn up the banquet soaked in his own tears and snot. Any road, that's your garb sorted. Now you just need to settle your nerves. Tell me when you're ready and I'll tell you where you're meant to go. What, just a pair of shoes? Okay, I'll take the shoes, though. Shoes are cool. <laughs> oh, they come with pants, too. <laughs> 
Well, don't I look <laughs> kind of ratty and shitty? <laughs> You're ready then, are ya? Good. The banquet will be starting soon. If you'd waited any longer, I'd have considered it my civic duty to hit you over the head and drag you there. Now make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you turn up, all right? Carry them won't do you no good. They're meant to make you look like a gentleman, remember? Not a gentleman's bleeding lackey. As for directions, the feet's being held on the bridge in the Appenal's briefing room. Speak with Santile in Bullwood Hall, and he'll show you the way. Just keep that head held high, lad. After everything you've done for Linza, you've good reason to be proud, and don't let no eyeborn bugger tell you different. Okay. Uh, sand hail. Being. Be. Downstairs? <laughs> and I immediately just splashed through a puddle with my new shoes. <laughs> dress shoes. Fancy dress shoes. An adventurer wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh, now those are some fancy dress shoes. Come, adventurer, I'll show you to the breathing briefing room. Huh? I guess it shoes really do work. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Brothers and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light by the navigator. It's a crystal and it's pretty light and I found it. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? Yeah, it was pretty big. You bathed in her light. I bathed in who's what now? Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. Oh. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations, as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. It was on that day, in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them, 
We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. I mean, anytime you want to look upon me, I just call. I dare, I'll, you can look upon me anytime. Keep that crystal safe. Yes, ma'am. In time, I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. Oh, that looks familiar. Flames to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Nothing. No, it's like a mask dude who like the other mask dude who summoned the thing. Probably bad. Bloody hells. The barrier won't go down so easily. Eyes forward. I keep expecting him to be mysteriously gone. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Hell, she's so gorgeous! Raging Bull, this is Mad Snake. Respond. Ryder, this is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Did, 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 did. Okay, I know it's not in keeping with the drama of the situation, but did you literally just do a snake? Snake! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? 
sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our leg shells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. Oh, that would be Bahamut doing his thing. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? I want to move to take our place beside Archon Luisoi to your positions. Kasbahul, so ginin moise donzul. That I should live to behold Bahamut once more, he said. Logalo, asawad deken bed mubu. Magnificent. The eons of imprisonment have only made him hungrier. Oh, hey, I love that guy. I am aware of them. Pay them no mind. They are powerless to act. It has begun. Soon the planet will regain its true form. Which just so happens, just completely coincidentally, to be a form that benefits you. That's the true one, definitely. What a dickhead. Morning, sunshine. All a bit too much for you, was it? I didn't even get to stuff my face with... Cake. Cake. Cake is what I was thinking about. That's what I wanted to stuff my face in. <clears throat> what happened? Ah, you don't remember then. You keeled over in the middle of the banquet and caused a right stir. I had to carry you back to the wench myself. <laughs> well, I say carry. It was more a matter of dragging and rolling. Too much cake, I reckon. Hey, dear, oh, don't fret. It's just little wonder you was exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Your little nap seems to have put your, some color back in your cheeks, though, so I'll leave you to it. Booker, I almost forgot. The Admiral wants to have a word with you. Yes, good, let's go. When you feel up for it, talk to Santhale, and he'll let you into the command room. Oh, and stay awake, eh? I'm told old Merlewit was in the middle of telling you a story when you started snoring last time, and I doubt she'd look kindly on it if you repeated the trick.
I'm still wearing my fancy shoes. Can I come in? Greetings, uh, Brick. Admiral B Blefschwin. Blefschwin? How was it that you pronounced it? I await you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Hi, hello, hi, can, 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 just, 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 sorry, I know it's a little weird, but, look at that nose, Oh, good features, like, you can tell that some people went to a lot of trouble to render, like, look at the, like, look at a little cut under the eye that creates the little line, that, that's, that's part of what gives her her, like, like, her maturity, that she doesn't look like an anime, like a, 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 kitty anime girl, but that she looks like a grown-ass woman, and it, that little like, the rendering around the eyes is a big part of that. God, that's a that's a gorgeous character. Ah, Brick. It is good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered. Then let us waste no time. I have a task that needs doing, one I would entrust to no other. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, like, whatever you need. The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. Oh, no! No, no, I know. I know how it works. Don't worry about it. It's not like... Uh, I do hope you've not made other plans. No, no. To business, then. I append a letter to each of my counterparts in the Orsian Alliance. The Battle of Cartno and the calamity that followed claimed countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who were spared dragged ourselves from the ashes to look upon an Eorzea we scarcely knew. Five years, and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship, and the warriors of light who might once have given them hope are gone. Yet we must press on regardless. We will never truly do so, however, till we have faced our past. To that end, I'm proposing that a memorial service be held in each of the city-states on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartano. These letters contain the details set proposal. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll, un I'll envoy any time you like. <clears throat> You've proven yourself a staunch and stable ally to Limsa, but that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you because you possess a quality which puts me in mind of history's champions. A quality I feared lost. Say that you will perform this duty. I gotcha. I knew you would not disappoint me. This task shall take you far from the borders of our nation, to the city-states of Grindania and Uldar. A grueling journey, to be sure, were you to travel by sea and land. But I mean to have you take to the skies. An airship pass, to be used at your discretion. Airships bound for the nations of our allies leave from the landing connected to the bridge. But before I depart, I suggest you trouble Badron for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard is nothing if not well-traveled. Tis a pity I cannot issue such passes with a freer hand, as I did in more peaceful times when births were not so limited. But in these times of war, every craft we commit to the clouds risks drawing the eye of the Empire, and every voyage must needs be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, I consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in that opinion. There were other parties who would see you granted the privilege of air travel. Aye, Brick, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Full many see great promise in you. But I have flattered you enough. Oh, I don't know. You could you, you could flatter me a little more. On behalf of Limsa Laminsa and her people. I bid you go forth, adventurer. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Only by braving the unknown will you achieve the greatness of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that your destiny will be no small thing. Hey. Right. Uh, let's speak with Batteron. 
and then that might be a place to cut an episode. And then the next video will probably proceed with the Marauder quest a little bit further. Back from your meeting with the Admiral, are ya? Personal Bleat and Envoy! So, you'll be carrying the word of the Admiral herself to the leaders of the Alliance. Bugger me. I knew you was going up in the world, but I didn't realize you'd got that bloody eye. I'm proud of you, lad. Thinking how far you've come. Why, it is enough to bring a tear to me eye. And that ain't the eel talking, neither. Well, not just the eel, at any rate. Bless the navigator for steering you my way. Of course, this is only the start. Now you've got your hands on an airship past the old horse she has laid out before you, like a fair maid on a feather bed. Batteron, come now. Although I'm not in a position to talk, am I? <laughs> and she's a big girl, too, with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies. Okay! If you think us Lamentians are characters, just wait till you cross paths with the for grim forest dwellers of Grindania, or trade coin with the crafty merchants of Ulda. And this, the wild places where the beasties rule, and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot. But you're a venturer, so I wouldn't let a little thing like that hold you back. Course, it ain't all exploring and excitement. There's heap of troubles with what plagues every nation, you see. Taint just ours. I'm talking intrigue and infighting, beastmen and their gods' damned primals. Aye, there's an ugly side to life, and sooner or later you're bound to walk into it. Beastmen, huh? But I'll wager, wager there's bugger all out there as you kind of handle. Someone tells me you're going to be just fine. The realms had it rough, tis true. But folks are beginning to recover from the beast and the calamity dealt them. Call me an hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to turn things around. Tis the perfect time for a venture like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are you waiting for? I spoke with Batteron. And now, I guess, uh, Little Mincy and Envar can wait until we've done with the Marauder stuff, I suppose. And then it is time to venture into the greater world! Oh, yes, Brick, you are moving up in the world, my lad. But if you want to see Brick moving up in the world, you'll have to hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. Because they're the ones that'll tell you when, you know, this video. Algorithm, blah, blah, YouTube, click numbers, things, stuff, go up, number, good, yes. Um, if you want to watch more Final Fantasy XIV ahead of time, then there's probably some episodes in Early Access as this video gets uploaded that you can see if you become a member on the channel, because that's, that's what membership on the channel does. It gives you early access to these videos. Um, I also have a Patreon merchandise store and a tip jar. Hello. Um, a merchandise and a ch tip jar. Uh, and if you want to use any of those, that helps me pay for my rent. It helps me pay for the editor, who helps me with some of the videos on this channel. But if you don't want to, or you're not in a position to be able to, then you don't have to. It's completely okay. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to wear a mask and wash your hands. Yes, even still. Take the vaccine when you can. And act with solidarity towards those who are worse off than yourself.